Hi all, this is Mozzie Woz coming to you live from my kitchen. Uh, Christmas has been and gone, we're now well into the new year, so I thought I'd do another rants video. Okay, so, I've actually write, written them down, because I have a tendency to wander when I start talking, so I need to keep to points. Um, this is mainly for my uh, uh, people in the UK, because I'm not sure, I, I presume that what I'm going to rant about will be worldwide in some form or other. Um, first one, there's a there's a bank, um, and they have an advert, and uh, they're basically advertising mortgages. I presume they're advertising them mainly at the first time buyer, but I don't be quote on that. I don't know. Anyway, so they they got this beautiful advert, and there's this guy who's building a treehouse for his two little daughters, and he's really putting the effort in, and it's a beautiful little advert, and it's really really nice advertising mortgages, very very. Nice. Until halfway through the advert, when if you look at the bottom left hand corner, if I remember right, it says this this offer excludes self build mortgages. Okay, excludes them, right? Why wh why the fuck have we just been watching a guy self building a fucking tree house for his daughter when that's completely excluded. I mean, to me, that's completely false advertising. It's it's absolute bullshit. And you know, I don't get it. I I don't get what the ad ad person behind the advert was thinking. Really, it's like, oh, let's show a man building his own house. Fair enough, it's for his daughters, but it's still the principle. He's building his own house. But we're not going to give them this offer. Fucking madness. Another ad I saw on a bus stop. This really annoyed me. It was for one of the supermarkets, and it basically said, um, spend £20, get £5 off. Right? Which is, in this day and age, that's a good offer. And it had one of the little stars. Always look out for the little stars, because that'll tell you somewhere in this advert there's more fucking to the, than what meets the eye. So I followed it down to the bottom of the advert, and there it was, the little star. So I knew that the information I was about to read was to do with the first little star. Okay? And it says, this excludes your first £20 shop. So, straight away now, I'm a bit fucking confused. Because by the first part of the advert, which was the big, huge, like, bus stop advert, I would have assumed that I could go to that said supermarket with £20 in my pocket, get £20 worth of shopping, and save £5. That's what I would have assumed. Okay. When, in actual fact, no. No, I have to go into the shop, spend £20, be charged £20, but then be given a token, a piece of paper which clearly states that the next time I come in and spend another £20, yes, you'll give me £5 off that. So, isn't that really... I have to spend £40 to get tw to get £5 off the £20 which you promised me... It, that's fucking illogical. That that advert should have clearly said, spend £40 and get £5 off. Not spend £20 and get £5 off. That's complete false advertising. You know? And strangely enough, the advert was only up there for a day, and the next day it had gone. But that could be that. That was the first time I'd walked past that bus stop, and the day after was the day they changed him. So, you know, I wouldn't read too much into that. <laughs> you know? Um, what else have I got here? Oh! Here's the pet hate contracts. They're massive these days. We're up to like 24 month contracts, 18 month contracts. Alright? Here's a challenge for all these big fucking telephone companies and all these other companies that tra t tie us all in. To con all a contract is, is, you know, we've signed up to pay X amount for a shit service. Yeah? Right. If you're so fucking good at your job and if your service is unbeatable, you know, you don't need a contract. We will stay out of royalty. At the end of the day, okay, if you like something, you tend to stay with it. If I had a mobile phone and it was running X SIM card and I was getting a good service and I was getting a fair price, I why would I move? You know, because they tell us, oh, a contract is so, you know, you don't move, you don't, you know, we try and keep you with us forever and ever and ever, okay? And, you know, the amount of people that are now finding that a lot of these services are just 
fucking shite. You know, it, it's it's quite a lot of stuff. It's like, you know, back when I was growing up, going back a long time, um, you know, if you saw a pair of uh, a trainers that were made by certain makes, you knew they were good fucking trainers. They would last. Yeah, uh, or if you wanted to buy um, a stack system, there were certain names that you knew you were buying quality, and it it would last you a fucking you know a good long time. But unfortunately, now because these names are so big, they don't need to put the effort. They back in the day they put the they must have put the effort in because the the fact of the matter is items last a lot longer. You know me, I'll go out and I will spend ten pound on a pair of trainers, and I don't really do a lot. I don't do any running or anything like that. But those trainers last me up to ten years without a problem. Yeah, uh, but granted, I don't do a lot on my feet. So, um, I can go back to a Christmas time when one of my kids saved his Christmas money and he spent I think seventy pound on a pair of name trainers, and within a fortnight the sole was coming off him. It was just ludicrous. So, you know, don't think... It, you, unfortunately, you can't take it for granted now that because something's got a big name on it, you're going to get value for money because you're not. You know, you're probably better off looking out for the smaller companies that are just starting out because they're at the stage where these big companies used to be. You know, they're at the beginning, so they have to put the effort into making these products. Otherwise, their name is not going to go anywhere, you know. So just be careful when you're buying stuff. That's just a personal thing. I, I think I've, you know, I don't know. Now, what, el what else have I got here now? I've wrote something else down on here. Oh, keyword, by the way, for any EQ uh, viewers is Leaf, L-E-A-F. So, yeah, give us a shout in game on the Antonius Bale server. And there's 50,000 plat. Okay, and twenty five uh, twenty five thousand to the person who's second, which didn't get claimed on the last video. So if anyone comes with me with the uh, keyword in the last video, then they get twenty five k because it still hasn't been claimed. Now, what have I written down here? Something that my son said to me just before I went on. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh no, that's I've already covered that. I sort of I mix that in with the last bit uh, which is basically you know name products these days are, are not necessarily uh, anything fantastic what I'll do because now I've got more time see writing bullet bulletin points definitely helped me because I got everything out that I wanted to get I mean you might think I'm a fucking raving lunatic but you know at the end of the day always look for keywords and adverts like should could possibly maybe um, you know, these are key. These are key words in any advert. These are very important words, and they're not just using adverts. They're using how people talk to you. It's you know, some people can come across very threatening, very sort of you know, author, you know, um, uh, I don't know, you know, in high power purely by the words they say. You know, there's a big difference between oh, uh, we could take you to court if you don't pay this. And we will take you to court if you don't pay this. There's a big difference. So always listen out for these words. I mean, I've always done it ever since I can remember. You know, when I watch adverts, I'm not watching the advert. I'm straight at the bottom of the advert, reading all the little tiny bits. And sometimes it's laughable. It, you, when you're watching something on the screen, and when you're reading the, the things, that, it is absolutely laughable that we just get absorbed into this culture of, of like, buying stuff just for the sake of buying it. Because... It's madness. I could go on to other things along that line, but I I I am no expert, so I'm not even going to touch it. There's lots of information out there about you know weird shit. What I will touch on though quickly is uh, I'm a great believer in aliens and UFOs. I am I am all over that. I mean anyone who feels that you know in this massive you know it's just it's just not worth thinking about but I do understand I think I worked it out why some people can go their whole lives <coughs> and not see a thing and it's dead simple right when you look through to my if you're looking through a telescope no matter what you're looking through right but you can only see as much of that sky as your eyes will take in okay so you're only physically looking at a single like a pinprick of you know of sky if you look at the, the, the all the sky around the entire, you know, we're looking at a single pinprick. So it's not surprising that a lot of people don't see these UFOs. Think about it, you know, you look at the sky at night, it looks big to you, but you're only actually seeing as much as your eyes will take in. So it stands to reason. Anyway, 
that's me for this week or not week i'm not doing these every week i don't know when i'll do the next one but anyway take care subscribe leave a comment have fun bye for now